orchestra in where we can talk, we have to hear. So the encouragement of listening to each other would be one of my biggest goals. And that would be, that would give a consequence of a good performance. Not only saying or finding the best solutions to technical problems, but just to find the, the way that people could, or musicians could listen to each other. And that, that would be my main goal. Because we're doing classical music of, written by geniuses of the history, right? We have to be careful on all the details that they already gave us, but they gave us also a lot of uh, information that is not only on the notes that we're looking at. It's just, it's more about seeing and being in, uh, active in the, in the process of, of what's going on around me, musically speaking. So I try to pinpoint that a lot to encourage um, the conductor is not someone that is on the podium, but is in the middle, which is conveying all the ideas together and is part of, of them as well. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Following the end of World War II, heads of states realized the importance of communication between countries and established the United Nations to bring different countries together. The goal was and is to build bridges and to break the borders between people and different nationalities, cultures, races. These 100 musicians may impossible possible. They've never seen each other. They mostly don't speak each other's language, but they found a way to communicate, to work together. I saw them rehearse, I saw them share meals together, sharing their stories with each other, having fun together. They become a family. They forgot about greed, envy, ego and became one. Let's celebrate with music, which unites us all together tonight. Let's celebrate life tonight. Let's celebrate peace tonight. 